The Morgan dollar is the most popularly collected classic silver dollar in American history. Between its monumental design, eclectic variety of dates and mint marks, and its immense history, there is so much to know about this beloved silver dollar. And today I'm here to give you a crash course so you know everything you need to know about this iconic Morgan Silver Dollar series. The Morgan Silver Dollar was designed by George T. Morgan and minted from 1878 to 1904 and for one final year again in 1921. The genesis of this coin began with the discovery of the Comstock load of silver in Nevada near Carson City in the year 1859. This is certainly one of America's largest silver discoveries to ever take place. With so much silver entering the economy during the late 1800s, the US government set legislation in place to create a new silver dollar, a coin we know today as the Morgan Silver Dollar. This was the time of the American frontier. Citizens were packing their belongings and moving westward, looking for new opportunities. Our country had practically expanded from east coast to west coast at that point and America was really stepping into its role as a global superpower. With that in mind, you have to realize that the Morgan dollar is more than just a coin to a collector. It is a symbol of American growth, of American expansion, of American wealth. This is the coin that represents American excellence. The design of this coin itself is incredibly American. It was actually the goal of George Morgan to find a model that specifically looked American. Prior to the Morgan dollar, our coinage was based on Greek figures, but Morgan didn't want a Greek coin. He wanted an American coin. After tirelessly searching for a model, Morgan met an American school teacher named Anna Willis Williams. Although Miss Williams was reluctant to model at first, she eventually sat for Morgan's famous silver dollar. Morgan even said that her profile was the most perfect he had ever seen. The obverse displays Miss Williams' portrait as Lady Liberty. She wears a Phrygian cap, which is a symbol of freedom. Above her head is a coronet inscribed with the word Liberty. Tucked into her hair are flowers of wheat and cotton, two of America's most important crops at the time. Just look at this coin. Beautiful, graceful, the perfect representation of freedom. And then there's the reverse. We needed to show both sides of our country. We weren't just graceful and free, we were powerful. And that's where Morgan's eagle comes in. You see that intense glare in the eagle's eyes, that puffed chest, the spread wings. This is such a strong portrayal of our national bird. Then you look at its talons. An olive branch in one talon to represent a desire for peace, but in its other talon, arrows to represent that if push comes to shove, we will defend ourselves at all costs. Like many coins, Morgan dollars have areas that are particularly difficult to strike and often show some weakness in the details. On the obverse or the heads side of the coin, the most difficult areas to strike are the lines of detail in Liberty's hair just above the ear. On the reverse, which is the tail side of the coin, the most difficult areas to strike are the eagle's chest and the tips of its wing. These also happen to be the highest points on the coin and will experience wear before any other area on the coin if a coin goes into circulation. 
During the course of the Morgan dollar production, it was struck at five different mints. The Philadelphia Mint, the San Francisco Mint, the Carson City Mint, the New Orleans Mint, and the Denver Mint. The Philadelphia Mint, founded in 1792, is the mother mint of our country and was the first mint to produce a Morgan silver dollar. These coins from Philadelphia depict no mint mark. The San Francisco Mint Building that struck these coins was known as the Granite Lady. Built in 1874, it was lauded for producing the most lustrous, well-struck coins in the series. San Francisco Mint coins have an S mint mark on the reverse beneath the eagle's tail. The Carson City Mint's Morgan dollars are known for their ties to the Wild West frontier. They were produced from 1878 to 1885, and then again from 1889 to 1893. These are coins that were exchanged by cowboys and outlaws. The infamous CC mint mark is among the most popular in the series and can be found on the reverse of the coin. The New Orleans mint stopped all coin production because of the Civil War. But by 1879, it was up and running again. The New Orleans Mint was actually reopened specifically to meet the demand for Morgan silver dollars. Beneath the eagle's tail is that O mint mark on the reverse for New Orleans. And finally, there's the Denver Mint. Only one issue of the Morgan dollar was struck at the Denver Mint, and that was in 1921, after a 17-year hiatus for Morgan dollars. This was also the final year that Morgan dollars were issued. With only one issue ever produced, that D mint mark on the reverse of the Morgan dollar is a necessity for every collection. There are many ways to collect Morgan dollars. Some collectors like to collect by mint mark, establishing a full set of Carson City coins, for instance. Others like to collect one example from each mint. Others would like one example from every year, regardless of mint mark. And then there's some collectors who want a complete set of every coin possible. Morgan dollars are coins that were produced for circulation or commercial use. These coins were used regularly for everyday transactions. Circulation coins like these Morgan dollars were struck to meet demand. These coins were struck and they were dumped into bins in mass. As these Morgan dollars got dumped into these bins, they'd collide with each other, they'd get abrasions on them, they'd be thrown into bags of a thousand coins and shipped around the country. Due to this process, finding a business strike, a circulation strike Morgan dollar in high grade is a difficult task. The most desirable Morgan dollars are those which have been preserved in stunning, brilliant, uncirculated condition. Brilliant uncirculated coins or mint state coins are those which were never used in commerce, never made it to circulation. These coins would grade mint state 60 to mint state 69. Only a small handful have survived in mint state 69. Between the two leading grading services, less than 2% of all Morgan dollars ever struck have graded in mint state or brilliant uncirculated condition. But it isn't just the way that these coins were produced that makes them so difficult to acquire. Many of these coins were also melted down over time. For example, in 1918, a piece of legislation called the Pittman Act was passed. This act called for the melting of over 270 million silver dollars. Out of the 657 million Morgan dollars that were struck, about 41% of them were melted instantly. During this melt, countless Morgan dollar rarities were lost forever. And while the Pittman Act was the most well-documented silver dollar melt to occur, there have been many throughout the years, including during World War II. In American numismatics, there is no more iconic dollar coin than the Morgan silver dollar. Between its symbolism, 
and artistry, there's no question why collectors around the world have fallen in love with this series.